So are we hungrier today than we were, let's say in 1960 or 1970? I know it's kind of a wacky question, but let me tell you what I'm thinking. So you may recall that with our lactobacillus roideri, the organism and the strains that we're using to make our yogurt, and we consume half a cup a day of this thick, rich yogurt, and it causes our hypothalamus to release oxytocin. And oxytocin is the hormone of empathy and connectedness, and also a very powerful appetite suppressor. It turns off interest in food. Food so tastes great, but your appetite is dramatically turned down when oxytocin levels are boosted, as we do with our yogurt. Now, think about this for a moment. Up until the mid-20th uh, uh, century, most people in Western cultures had this organism in our bodies, lactobacillus roideri, often getting it from mother's milk, from breastfeeding. In this century, almost everybody has lost lactobacillus roideri. Only 1 in 20 people now have this organism. That is, before you eat the yogurt. So if lactobacillus roideri, present in most people, up to the mid 20th century, now lost in most people, and it was responsible for boosting oxytocin that suppresses appetite. Do you see where I'm going with this? Has the loss of lactobacillus roideri in most modern people, is that responsible, at least partially, for the broad increase in calorie intake and food intake? There's more to it than that, of course. I would argue that the gliding derived opioid peptides that come from wheat and grains, particularly modern wheat and grains, are also appetite stimulants. But it's magnified, I believe, by the reduced oxytocin levels, particularly as we get older, that occur because we lack lactobacillus roideri. So just a thought uh, exercise. Know that if you consume our lactobacillus roideri yogurt, you are restoring this organism and you're boosting oxytocin. And that's why we get this wonderful so-called anorexigenic effect, meaning your appetite is completely under your own control. It's, you're no longer subject to appetite stimulation. You're no longer craving things. You can sail through an entire day without eating if you want to, and you can even use it to facilitate intermittent fasting. So uh, know that your appetite, calorie intake, even though we never count calories in my programs, your calorie intake will drop just because your appetite has been effectively suppressed.